Today we're exploring one of the most critical events in cardiovascular health, the heart attack or myocardial infarction. We'll examine what exactly happens during a heart attack, taking a deep dive into the intricate world of your heart. The heart functions as a tireless pump, pushing blood through a network of coronary arteries. These arteries supply oxygen to the myocardium, the heart muscle. Over time, plaque can accumulate inside these arteries, a process called atherosclerosis. This plaque consists of cholesterol, fat, and other substances. As plaque grows, it narrows the artery, impeding blood flow. The narrower the artery becomes, the higher the risk of a complete blockage. The critical moment occurs when plaque suddenly ruptures. The body reacts to this as an injury, with platelets rushing to form a clot, or thrombus, around the ruptured plaque. While this is a normal healing response, in this case, it can be problematic. When a part of the heart is suddenly deprived of blood, the muscle cells begin to die rapidly, within minutes. This damage is irreversible and can significantly impact cardiac function. Symptoms may include chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, or pain in the arm or jaw. Diagnosis involves an ECG to show the heart's electrical activity and blood tests for specific proteins like troponin. In a heart attack, rapid treatment is crucial. A common treatment is angioplasty, where a tiny balloon opens the blocked artery, often followed by stent placement to keep the artery open. Clot-dissolving medications may also be used in some cases. Post-heart attack, the body begins to heal, replacing damaged heart cells with scar tissue. This scar tissue doesn't contract like normal heart muscle, potentially reducing cardiac efficiency. Prevention of future attacks involves managing cholesterol and blood pressure, often with medications. Lifestyle changes, including a heart-healthy diet, regular exercise, and smoking cessation, play a crucial role in long-term heart health.